Scarlet is on the crew show. Here we are. Let's go. Hey, shout out to DJ Fuse for that intro. Yeah, shout out to DJ Fuse for that intro. You, you, that was a nasty Fuse one. You killed that, right? <laughs> that was a nasty one. That was a nasty one. Yo, <laughs> love the overalls. Thank you. Yeah, nah, I love the energy. How you feel? I feel good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You love L.A.? I love L.A. Yeah, what is it about L.A.? I love their style. The way they dress is crazy. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I was at, I don't know if I was at the Thank Grove. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, do you have Hoochie Daddy shorts No, no, no. Oh, you don't? Not today. Okay. I was at Melrose, um, Melrose the other day. Yeah. And, um... Their style is crazy over there. Yeah. They just dress. They, they'll make a black shirt with some jeans look fire. Crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Do you smoke? Oh, no, I don't smoke. Good. Good. <laughs> Why not? Because, man, I be tripping off that, you know. <laughs> I be tripping off that, you know. Yeah, that gas. That strong gas. Yeah. <laughs> Edibles too. Edibles out here are crazy too. Be careful. Should be having me zooted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, no statement on all streaming platforms as well. Congratulations, right? A lot of music out there. A lot of your pain and truth has been revealed through this music. Also, through your voice. The sound of your voice has a story in itself. The sound of your voice, I believe, tells your story as well. And your delivery in your music says a lot about you. Thank you. Which is a good thing. That's a great thing. You communicate. Yeah. You're communicating with the fans and people who love music, right? What What was the toughest part about growing up in New York? Toughest part growing up in New York? It wasn't the city that was tough. It was my home that was tough. The people. Yeah, it was the Your home. Your people. That, yeah, my people was the, the toughest part of New York. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Hmm. I say that. Yeah. Were you betrayed? I was betrayed by many loved ones. Yeah. That's got to be tough. Yeah. You, you you Are you on that journey to forgive them? Have you? Forgiveness is a lonely road. Yeah, that's hard. I'm trying to forgive. Like, I didn't fully forgive, like, everybody. But we on the journey of healing. That's right. How are your holidays so far? How was Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was so amazing. Good. I feel like this year was my first ever best thanksgiving and the reason i say that because last year was a little tough last year was last year was really hard thanksgiving yeah but this year was amazing and the reason why is because i didn't spend thanksgiving with my family but i spent it with my new family hmm. that good. i made yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah yeah that so you uh curated Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that i found and picked <laughs> <laughs> you picked your family and it That's feels right great. yeah it feels right. Yeah, man. How are things moving? Things moving fast? Are they moving up to your liking? Are they moving as fast as you want things to move? It's moving faster than I thought. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't, when I'm thinking of success, I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm going to be rich and famous. But this shit is real. Mm -hmm. It's not all I'm in L.A. Right? When you, look, I'm in L.A. right now, right? I'm from the Bronx. We, we from foster homes and shit like that. Yeah. We don't think we're going to ever travel the world. You know what I mean? See like, the Hollywood sign. A lot of people would never be able to see see Hollywood sign, see rappers in real life. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yep. So it's just like, damn, bro, I'm really making it. Yeah, a lot really of people will it. never do see, be that, a lot of people will never be able to take a flight to LA. Yeah, for many different reasons, right? For ambition, lack of ambition, having the guts to do it, or just not having the proper encouragement to make it or to do or it. Or even the resources. Or the resources. That's a fact. You know what I noticed when you walked in? You scan the room. You look around. Yeah. And you almost look for people that you can trust. Do I have that right? No. No? I fuck with y'all. I don't know, man. I, I, I was like, yo, like she's scanning the room. I'm like, right? I, hope felt I need way. to make sure I know who in here, what's the exit. Yeah. No, stop. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. He was, he was, she was scanning for the exit. <laughs> yeah, I'm Just in case shit go. Is whack. I'm out. <laughs> just, just in case. The just in case shit interviews. come. Just in case some shit go wrong. <laughs> I know how we getting out of here. <laughs> That's growing up tough. That's growing up, you know, surviving every, you know, every day. Yeah. Right. I I, I do want to say, uh, you know, you're saying now, uh, like, you're thinking about like, dude, it's crazy, it's crazy, and, and are you do you uh, do you find yourself often thinking about that it's crazy, or are you more set on the mindset of like, you know what, it happened, I'm here, and it's it's only up from here. I don't even think it happened. I'm here. I'm still like, it's crazy. Yeah. Cause I feel like, like, like it happened. I'm here. Like, 
I don't even be seeing it like the other people gotta be like, Squad, do you not see like <laughs> do you not see your life right now? Like do you not and I'll be like, Bro, for real? So that's what's really what it is? Be like, damn, that's crazy. You know, and you mentioned like you, that th- this Thanksgiving you spent it with, you know, the family that you curated. Is it hard for you or was it easy enough to be like, nah, I'm just leaving everything behind and I'm going to pick this new family and I'm going to surround myself with the people that I want to surround myself with? It wasn't hard. It was actually real like a blessing because like I always prayed for a family, you feel me? And mm-hmm. not a blood, not because I prayed for a good family, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Not a family that's just going violate you feel me like a yeah. good one that actually care about me mm-hmm. but my god mom she's been here for a minute like you know what i mean so yeah yeah hmm. yo why do girls from east from from like the east coast like the way y'all flirt is different <laughs> yo come here dirty let me holla at you yo, yeah yeah <laughs> just like that that's crazy come here you big head motherfucker i like you like wait we a like second. the we we when we flirt we fight yeah why we weird <laughs> 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 right like it's just it's it's aggressive but it's it's playful i guess in a way i don't know is yeah. it just the way it is out there i don't know i think so new york bitches ain't pussy <laughs> That's a like for not. real That's we not <laughs> we not no nah, hell no nah. i don't think i've ever met like every woman that i met from new york can beat me up mm. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> she, she looked at you disappointed. I don't, care. I don't care. I'll say it. Yeah, I believe it. You like women that's like aggressive? I like a little attitude. I think, I think, <laughs> I think a lot of men enjoy a little You like attitude. submissive or dominant? Um, hmm. Be honest, please. Submissive is nice, right? I'm Latino. I think that's in our Boy. DNA. It's in our blood. <laughs> you know, I'll be your poppy. You feel me? But <laughs> like, but like, nah. But like, if she's dominant, that's okay too, right? But not too dominant. Like, I don't want to feel like, <laughs> like, yo, like I'm gonna get my ass whooped here. I'm but. that type of bitch. Like, <laughs> yeah, you will get your ass beat <laughs> playing with me like that. <laughs> right. And not dating niggas. That's up to here. Like up to there. Uh-huh. They just be, these niggas I be messing with, they be shorter than me. You like short, short kings? kings? <laughs> I do like smaller niggas. I like short niggas. You just like to feel like you you in charge? Be honest. It's cool. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you remember, you my boyfriend, you my son at the same time. <laughs> that's all funny. So you like short kings. That's that's refreshing to hear. Mm. Yeah, you, that's actually a hot take. That's, <laughs> I love, it's going viral. I love little men. Hmm. Pause, but yes. Pause. I got a cousin who's like technically he's a, he's an LP. He's an LP little he's person. A little person. Yeah. I can introduce. But they anger is something different. <laughs> it's different. It's Some different. He also drinks s- Hennessy to where he blacks out. My, my cousin, yeah, he in rehab right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I got my eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Moses. That's right, Moses. <laughs> I got my Yo, that's head. hilarious. <laughs> so you're a very funny person. What are other things people don't know about you? I don't know. Like, I'm not really as, like, prob- people probably think I'm, like, cocky. Mm-hmm. Or, like, because you know people think you make it, so, like, you're like, yeah. but I'm really just a regular person, just like everybody. That's right. Huh? Like, if you come up to me, I'm not on no bougie shit. I'm going to be like, what's popping? Like, you know? Yeah, mm. yeah, that's right. What about your writing process? Ooh. And making music, that process. You know what? Where I'm, do you have to go? What I'm starting to notice, I don't write no more. Okay. I like I still make my music. Sure. I all right, where do I have to go? All right, so like when I'm in the studio, right? I'll like mumber. Like I'll put put on a beat, mm-hmm. mumber the melody first, mm-hmm. then I'll listen to the mummering and replace the mummering with mm-hmm. words. Mm-hmm. Are you saying you listen you listen to something you're like mm-hmm, mm-hmm, do the flow mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll do the flow right, okay and then I'll replace the the humming and stuff okay. with actual lyrics hmm. got it that's how I do it got it and you know one thing I do is my type of music is like depression music right that's my music these new music's like no statements um like no statements um Blick. this is New York Blake yeah. those are me. Search, like those are me like I'll be like let me search a let me search a DMX beat I search like I'll be like DMX type beat what would DMX say on this and I'll write and that's how I'll make a song I'll be like what will Cardi B say on this and I'll I like to like impersonate 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I like yeah, to yeah. step in the shoes of other artists. Sure, that helps. That's how I make these songs I've been making, these hit songs. Hmm. I just step into other artists' shoes and like, what would they say? You're grabbing wow. your influences and just picking and choosing what you like and then making it your own. Yeah, what would Boosie say? What would Jay-Z say? Right, like, right, yeah. Have you told some of your fellow artists that you're doing this? No. <laughs> They're going to be like, bitch, stop. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I, think, I think that's... Showing love. That's yeah. channeling. Uh, depending on who you ask. No, nah, but right? she's channeling a, a way to be creative as well, which so is so when part you'll of know process. you'll know what's coming like just straight scarlet when you hear that sad poetry shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you hear Blick or you hear that it's like, hmm, that sounds like something. That sounds it's For me sure. just stepping in the shoes of a What's the saddest, most depressing shit you've ever written? That you're like, damn, that was pretty fucking sad. Are you asking for like the line? Yeah. Oh god. Therapy. Yeah. Hmm. How'd that go? <laughs> it's a safe space. Oh, or it could be the um, life of a black girl. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like I started it like as a black girl in the system. I was taught to hate myself. Raised in a black home. If you talk back, they grab the belt. I was jumping house from house. You don't know how that made me feel. Two years later, grabbed the knife. I was ready to kill myself. You don't know shit about my life. Stop saying that you care. Where was you at when he was touching me? None of y'all was there. Where was you at when my mother died? None of y'all was there. I used to have the spark in me. You see, they took that glow in me. Want me to tell you about my life without you even knowing me? I'm facing this world on my own. I ain't afraid to be alone. Mama died when I was 12. Ever since then, I had to be grown. Ain't no happy ending. Ain't no happiness for me. Told my uncle I want to rap. He told me that was just a dream and dreams don't come true for black girls that look like me so therapist please tell me what do you see when you look at me do you see a future or do you see a curse i've been trying my best i always seem to do my worst my family don't love me my brother won't even hug me my sister back and funny it's like ain't nobody for me it's like the world is out to give me Jeez. man yeah like like sit with that right those mm. aren't just words that's like actual real life yeah shit. This is that's reporting live from the scene. Hmm. You know, that, that, and that description is real, very real. Like you got to be really in tune with your emotions to be able to express yourself. Hundred percent. Like rapping, not just like saying things, but to make it make sense. That's you're, you're special. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have have young girls or young people reached out to you and? have had the same experiences or a similar lot, experiences? A lot of young girls say they either was like abused or they was in the foster care, like a lot of young girls in the foster care. Mm. And boys, you'd be surprised. Yeah. They reach out to me like, cause they was in the system or they lost a parent and they just be like, wow, like I'm not the only one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not They be alone. like, I'm glad that it's not only. I they're not alone and me. you're not alone. Yeah. Do you feel that pressure when people message you that like, okay, now I'm a voice for people that are younger than me that are coming up in the system like that too? I don't feel pressure because I've been doing it for a long time, since 2018. 28, no, 2017, I did, the first time was a poem and that was like one of those poems. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I got the response from the people and the public was all positive, I was like, all right, it made me feel like I was doing a duty, like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And then now I just like doing it. That's right. Yeah. And, we and I got to make it out the hood. So. Yeah, right? Nah, for real. I'm not against it. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> it's going to get me out the hood. Let's, do it. Let's now, do it. How often do you write poems and how often do you write songs? Like I haven't wrote a poem in a long time. Hmm. Why is that? I just, I've been writing like hit records. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> night time's over into the bag. <laughs> no. Hey, I just put the poems on hold, you. <laughs> poems don't pay the bills, guys. <laughs> they can, though. I could do poems here and there for my... Instagram, For you know, sure, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but I've really been tapping into like these hits. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What are you doing for the holidays? You going back to the back to home or the holidays? I'm going to give back, of course, but I'm going to just be with my family. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going back to the poetry. My birthday is December 12th. Sorry. That's right. You got a birthday coming up. Yeah. What, oh what are we doing for your birthday? I'm going to I think we having a party because my cameraman shout out to my cameraman Breezy. Um, we, we, his birthday is coming up too, so we probably do something together. That's right. Bundle. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Joint party. Joint party. Joint party. Are we invited? 
I'm sick. Yeah, I don't want to, but y'all gotta <laughs> sign NDAs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just God. playing. I'm just playing. I'll say nothing. <laughs> this is why radio people never get invited to shit. This is why. Because all we do the next day, about we go on the air and we start talking about everything we witnessed. <laughs> There's gonna be a break next yeah. the next day. <laughs> and we're filming, you know, for our IG stories and shit. <laughs> That's why you don't see radio people at the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> <laughs> no one's there. Yo, so congratulations on the music. I know you're constantly working, too. Are we recording every single day? I'm, I'm writing every... I'm making music every single day. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. In some form. In a form. Mm -hmm. Voice notes on iPhones. Ah, a lot <laughs> of that is best. happening. That's what I do. I use voice notes. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of writing it down. Yeah. Just go to your phone really quick. I got an iPad and an iPhone. I yep. use I play the beat with my iPad and I record with my iPhone. Yeah. What's where's the randomest place you've caught inspiration? But whether it's the restroom, the airport, and you're just like, yo, I gotta jot this shit down. Yeah, it just be when I'm walking, when I'm walking sometimes, when I'm in a car, I'm I'm always inspiration. I'm inspired right now. For sure. Mm -hmm. Who's on your Mount Yay! Rushmore? Huh? Who's on your Mount Rushmore for female? How many numbers it got to be? It's four. Damn. Mount Rushmore, today's era? Whoever you like. Lauren Hill, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, mm -hmm. Scarlett. That's right. That's right. I love when people put themselves on their list. I'm on that list. I don't. I'm on that list. I'm not a fan I'm the of great, that. I'm the greatest it. to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the greatest to do it. I'm be your biggest fan. Yeah. And that I respect. You and know, you got to be growing up in a system, You know right? what, Cardi? Huh? In the, like growing up in a system, you got to root for yourself. Oh, it's a, different, it's a different hunger for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say right now about Cardi? Yeah, Cardi, Cardi Um, she told me like, to walk in the room like I'm that bitch. That's right. And that's why I've been bigging myself up more. There you go. Because I don't really like gas myself like that because yeah. I'm not like, I just be like, eh, I don't know. Like, you know, you I don't really. that way? Uh, yeah, I'm not too cocky or like, mm -hmm. but ever since she told me that, I'm like, let me take her advice. Sure, yeah. You know it worked I mean? for her. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to work for you, yeah. shorty. <laughs> you know more than me. <laughs> that's why I want to ask when, when if, you know, you think about like, oh, it's happened. I wanted to tell you like, start. Get rid of that thought. It's I'm here. I'm I'm her, and and you know what I'm saying like yeah, big up yourself and mm -hmm. and don't ever doubt that you're meant to be here. You know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, when was sure. the last time that you actually took a step back and and really kind of sat with yourself and been like, okay, I did accomplish a lot in these past few years. Yeah, when I went to the after I came from the VMA awards, mm -hmm. that's I wasn't even performing, but I was there. Mm -hmm. So like after I came home from there. And I seen Nicki Minaj like performing. Then I seen Cardi B and Megan performing. And I see these people and I'm like, nigga, I'm right next to these people. And these people I used to watch. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. ho like hoping one day we So you're not it's sitting there just as a fan. You're there as I'm a I'm there as a guest. And so it's just like that's when I went home, like I cried that day. I cried that day, yeah. And then I went home, I said, Yo, I'm really here, bro. I'm really doing it. Mm. I'm really doing You're it. Really doing it, man. That's crazy, right? That's wild. And it is just and, and the reason why it's crazy for me is because I was in the parking lot for seven years rapping, trying to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just street like you don't think right? street performing and it's just like when you there, you don't think like you'll really ever see that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you are one of the people that actually see it, you're like, oh shit. Thank God I could have quit. Thank God I didn't quit. Feel me? For real. I could have quit yesterday, but yeah, I kept yeah. going for that one more day. Yep. And then it took off. Yeah. And that's what matters. One thing I learned from street performers is that it it that feels like that's your forever. Like, okay, well, th this is what I'm going to do. I don't know how long I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it for as long as I need to or as long as I can. Mm -hmm. Even the people on Broadway, they be acting and doing plays. For sure. Don't give up. Yeah. Mm. I... The thing I admire about street performers is that they believe in themselves so much they create a space for themselves to perform. Their they own don't, space, yeah. Like even they, if what they, is street the performers? Huh? What is street performers? People who perform on the street. People who you know. People mm. like you're you're rapping for people or you're performing for people. Yeah. Like a pop up performance. You, yeah, you create a corner space for yourself on the street and you just get. To I be it in the parking lot. Subway parking lot. I do it in the parking lot. Yeah. And like, um, I did that shit for seven. 
years. You got to understand, seven years you broke. It's a long time. Sometimes you're spending a lot of hours on the video and you only get a thousand views. Mm -hmm. Then you want to quit, but the next day you wake up and go again and you fell again and you wake up again and do it and you fell again and then you win again mm -hmm. and then it take about four months for you to win again. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy and it's just like one day that you just say boom. You just be like, thank God. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. I did I'm that. Out. I'm gone. I'm gone. Good That's night. Right. No, good night. And look zaza, zaza. <laughs> zone, zone, zone. Zone, zone, zone. <laughs> Do you uh, trust overly nice people when you first meet them? No, because nigga, why you so nice for me? What you want? <laughs> oh, my God. Right? <laughs> what you want from me? Stop. All that nice stuff. Some people are nice. That's it. No, from I completely streets get that. Of where I'm from. We don't fuck with that. Ain't nobody nice for nothing, right? Only people that's nice are my teachers, counselors, therapists, and... People that are paid to be nice? People are... Pa <laughs> Ooh, talk about it. Yeah. People are paid to be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. No, I ain't see it like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we're nice. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Nah, 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 nah. We good people. We good yeah. people. See, I, you don't got to pay me to be nice. Hell no. I'm that's a right. real nigga. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it is what it is, right? What you see is what you get. Yeah. What do people from L.A. sound like, according to you? Mm, they got that old, like, crip voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love L.A. niggas, for real. They all sexy and they voice be sexy and shit. Like you like like gangsters? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. How do they sound? Like Snoop Dogg. They be sounding like Snoop Dogg. Hey, when back in the day. <laughs> right. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, cuz. <laughs> like that? That's 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 fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they wear that big oversized white tee with the with their know, pro club. Uh, <laughs> talk to them. You're so outspoken, <laughs> man. Talk to me nice. I feel like when, if somebody were to like, you know, approach you and flirt with you, you'd get really shy. Are you that type of person? You can't flirt with me for real because I'm going to be like, get the fuck out of here. Like, back the fuck. <laughs> like, I don't play with niggas like that. Like, but it's some cute niggas I'll give a chance to. <laughs> like, is this dude that work at this racetrack place that I always go to? Yeah. He mad cute. He be buckling me up and adjusting my wheels. And I'm oh, like, he's, he's concerned with your safety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes you feel like a like a, like a a 13-year-old little girl with a crush, huh? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> like, giddy. Like, Big it makes one. you feel like a little girl in love. No, like it gives you butterflies. Wait, who's outside? What happened? We None. outside. Oh, okay. We looked outside like we had a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody got a problem. Let's no, no. go out there and see what's going on, man. I'll you can get shot me. first. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> then we know. Yo, no statements on all streaming platforms. Blick, uh, all music, Scarlet, congratulations. Yo, it's love. You got a home here at Real 92.3 here in Los Angeles. Anytime. I really appreciate 92.3. We appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys. Shout out to LA was popping. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. I'm in your city right now, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for getting on my song. That's right. That's right. Period. Blick is out now. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah. Get Snoop it. is such a such a god, He's man. He's a real nigga. Man, we love Snoop. Snoop, let me say this on this radio. Talk to him. Snoop Dogg jumped on This Is New York Remix. Yep. Instantly. I asked him. He didn't even take long. He did the remix, did a music video, and brought me out to the Yankee Stadium to perform for 50 years of hip-hop. Wow. And he did that for free. And I'm an upcoming artist. He didn't have to do that. So I'm going to always be like, shout out to Snoop Dogg. Like, he's real. I love you and everything he did for L.A. That's the clip. Go ahead and put that out right now on Instagram. <laughs> That's that clip. Go ahead and tag Scarlet. Too easy. Yo, appreciate you. It's love. Congratulations. Come see us anytime. Yes, yes. Scarlet Crew Show, Real 92.3. Yo, check out more of our YouTube interviews now. ASAP Plus. Download the free iHeartRadio app so you can check out the Crew Show podcast.